GRK Stud 97 asks, am I a weightlifter? I am a weightlifter. I don't know, are you? I am a weightlifter and I have no issues mobility wise getting into the necessary positions. I don't stretch at all at the moment, but I was wondering if my mobility is already good enough for weightlifting. Would there be any benefit to me stretching a little throughout the day or before slash after sessions? So yes, yes, the very, very short answer is yes, you definitely should be stretching if you, even if you don't have any mobility issues now. Maybe not even stretching, maybe a better word for this day and age would be you should be doing some kind of mobility work for your weightlifting. So I'll just give you like a personal anecdote just to hammer home the point essentially so a lot of you watching the channel will know if i've had some knee issues i use rebuilding milo i went through the uh, screening process to see what was wrong with my knees and basically it turned out that i had a mobility issue on my right ankle and my right external rotation was poor i never had this issue before i uh, never had tight hips since even when i started weightlifting i've done these tests a couple of years ago for a different issue had full range of motion and they were then this a huge source of my knee pain so the the kind of the moral of the story there is that you can very easily develop things very very fast you know so it can things can happen in the space of a month or two or less and so it does pay to stay on top of the larger sections of things just to make sure you take all the boxes so weightlifting most of weightlifting is just fighting fires and you know putting putting out fires that come up and different fires come up all the times and oftentimes these things are unexpected and things you don't know are coming so the best thing you can do is try to be as preemptive as possible while still being efficient with it and not going overboard with stuff. So we're not saying go take your mobility routine to half an hour, an hour a day. You know, you don't need to do that, but you can certainly work on things two to three times a week. So make sure your hips are loose. Just run through really quick drills, stuff for your shoulders, thoracic spine, you know, hit the big ones. So ankles, hips, thoracic spine, shoulders. And you'll get a lot of the stuff that will potentially cause problems in your weightlifting. You run through these, just hit one one section of those three times a week. And just make sure you're staying on top of it, keeping it mobile, whenever it fits into your training. And if you don't have any issues, hopefully this will help you keep off those issues. And you will thank yourself in the long run. Years ago when I started weightlifting, I remember the older weightlifters in the club were like, you should really warm up more, you're going to regret it later. Or you'll have to start doing it more uh, when you're couple of years on and i remember being like whatever but they were right so you should probably listen to people so i'm saying this now as the older member of your imaginary club i would definitely recommend doing just a little bit more mobility and a proper warm-up and cool down essentially whichever fits into your training and you will tank yourself in the long run you'll never know if it kept away injuries but when you do get injured you'll be like fuck why didn't i warm up properly or do more mobility more yeah absolutely i have to agree what garf is saying there i think as somebody who came into weightlifting with a completely different circumstance, Owen, like I remember looking at Owen stretching in UL, uh, like before and after training and trying to figure out how the fuck a human being could be in those positions. You know, I came in with terrible mobility and the vast majority of my training was made up for the first probably year and a half anyway of just very, very long mobility sessions combined with some weightlifting, which in reality they probably put into the program just so I keep coming back to the gym and doing the stretching and trying to mobilize more. There's two other aspects to mobility work that even if you're hitting the right positions now and you don't need to increase mobility, besides the injury side of things, which to be honest, I think is probably the most important thing, the two other aspects are increased stability and then increased range of motion in a kind of ergogenic or a performance enhancement way, right? So to take the second one first, if you're currently able to sit into a fairly deep squat, right? So a squat where you are below parallel, your hip crease is below your knee joint, your kind of upright to so your torso might be slightly inclined forward, but on the whole, you're in a pretty good position. Um, your overhead mobility might be quite good. So your ears might be in front of your arms. You might have a strong and relatively stable upper back that there's always enhancements and there's always improvements to be made. So if you're bringing those squat positions into snatching at the moment, you could probably cut maybe four to eight centimeters off the height of your snatch pull. So you'll be able to chase under weights more and get deeper underneath weights in your snatch and in your clean, which you wouldn't be able to do if you never ever stretched or never looked to increase your level of mobility weightlifting is about those small margins so anywhere you can gain those kind of increases in mobility or increase in ranges of motion that's going to be really beneficial for you in the long run 
The second piece then on stability, stability kind of runs along the same lines, right? So in the same way where if you have a deeper squat, you'll be able to get under weights that are lower. So you'll be able to pull heavier weights to not quite as high and get under them with the same level of effort as you might pull under a 95% lift at the moment. Stability is kind of along the same line. So if you keep pushing, so say if you're overhead at the moment, is just good enough where you can kind of sit into an overhead squat fairly easily. A lot of your capital or a lot of your kind of effort there is going to be maintained into just holding the position the same way if you get somebody who's very, very tight and you ask them to sit into a full depth air squat, they're going to start shaking after a few seconds. So a lot of their energy is going to be put into just maintaining the position. Whereas if you get a really mobile person, like if you get a kid and ask them to sit down into a squat, they can sit there for an hour and they won't have any real discomfort. So they can still do all their other tasks while they're down there. If you start thinking about weightlifting as a sport, the less effort you have to put into maintaining a position. So the more stable you are, that's doing like all your regular stability work, your anti-rotation work, your midline stability work. The less effort you have to put into maintaining stability, the better you're going to be in pulling heavier weights over your head and standing up with them afterwards. I don't stand, I don't stand, I don't stand.